A Denver business owner on edge after his store was burglarized early Saturday morning. That's right. This all happened around 4 a.m. at the Positive Vibes. This is on Santa Fe Drive. It's all part of a theft that was caught on camera. Let's get out to Fox 31's Aaliyah Sims, who's tracking it all for us tonight. Aaliyah. Yeah, I tell you, the owners here at Positive Vibes tells me that the thieves rode up here on a scooter, drilling through this lock to get inside. He tells me what hurts the worst is that he was sleeping in the back of the store when the break-in was happening. So violating. My stomach hurts even watching it. It's hard for co-owner of Positive Vibes Smoke Shop, Madison Dillard, to bring himself to watch this video of his store being burglarized. It started outside and they drilled this whole piece out. Dillard sharing this video with Fox 31 of what appears to be a male and female pulling up on Lime scooters. Probably lower 20s, maybe teens. They entered the store around 3.50 Saturday morning, spending about three minutes inside before coming back a second time about a half hour later. Realized the cops weren't here and kind of they really started taking their time then. It took about like 15 minutes in the shop then. Stealing about $50,000 worth of merchandise. The highest amount was a Scotty Mickle uh, mandala piece. It was about $7,000. Dillard says the shop had reopened here on Santa Fe about three months ago and was in the middle of finishing its security system. We spent $30,000 already on security. We have those door, the door bars already ordered. They were supposed to be here two weeks ago. So that's kind of what like hurts the most. Another thing that hurts is he believes the bong bandits are previous customers of the store. It feels like a betrayal because every, we open our arms to everyone, you know, and it's kind of a shock. And while he's thankful for the support of the community. We have a board with about over 100 artists donating glass. He has this message for the duo responsible. You did it to the wrong people. I mean, we're like for the community. We spend so much of our own personal time and money throwing events for people. Um, we work with people. Yeah, so Dillard hopes that since the suspects left on a scooters, that that will help police in their investigation. But I want you to take a good look at your screen. Next to me is another good look at those suspects. If you know who they are or where they are at tonight, you are urged to call our partners with Metro Denver Crime Stoppers. Live tonight in Denver, Aaliyah Sims, Fox 31. All right, Aaliyah, thank you for that report.